guys, I uh, just picked up this uh, Echo CS590. Um, as you can see, I already opened it. <laughs> I opened it before I thought about unboxing, but I figured to take the opportunity to unbox it for you guys. Um, I really didn't need another sole, but uh, I got a good deal on it at a pawn shop. Because uh, these are usually around 400 bucks. I, I talked the guy down to 250 so it's brand new in the box. So, um, yeah, I'll uh, go into what it looks like and everything. Um, this is basically the saw. It comes with a scrunch, oil, echo oil for a gallon. Um, this is a, a piece that goes on your tip of your bar to prevent kickback. It's kind of unnecessary, but... Um, then you got your manuals. Your paperwork, all that stuff. Your warranty information or whatever. And uh, what I found interesting, too, in this manual, they actually have... It goes into detail about how you go about cutting trees down and uh, different pressure points and you know I just thought it was neat if you're a novice going into this kind of help you and show you what needs to be done when you're doing certain things. I don't think I've ever seen that before with chainsaw but it's kind of neat. Um, Alright on to the saw. Um, comes with a 20 inch bar, which I like. It's a nice in between size. It's not too small, not too big. And uh, comes with a full chisel too, which is nice. With uh, it's not low kickback or nothing, just regular full chisel chain. Um, you know, which makes it easy to knock your rakers down. So you can actually get stuff done. Um, seems to be made mostly of metal, which is nice. Check out the air filter. I like the switch too. You see the switch? It's kind of out of the way. Choke. Ah, this choke, I don't really like that much. Kind of big and chintzy feeling, but not too bad, I guess. Um, the air filter. Just a standard paper air filter. Don't really like these too much because uh, they're kind of hard to clean. You almost need to get another one, but uh, a lot of the new soles are coming with these. It's kind of nice. There's a nice narrowing on it, so you can take it off without a saw wrench sometimes. Um, let's see. Brake feels good. Nice and solid, nice and crisp. Everything seems, I mean, I'm kind of surprised with the weight of this too. It's got a nice weight to it. It feels solidly built. It's got nice uh, solid steel spurs on it, which a lot of the, you'll see a lot of the homeowner type saws either have no spurs or they're uh, chintzy like plastic spurs. But I think this is a commercial grade saw, so it's pretty good and for the price point you can't really beat it um fresh is good yeah I mean I'm overall pretty impressed with it I mean I'm coming from uh, you know having a lot of large steel soles too so my standards are pretty high uh, another thing I really don't like with these is uh you need a saw wrench to open the gas and oil but like I said that's that's on a lot of these newer saws and uh, I mean, it's just kind of a minor setback. You just need to make sure you have the scratch with you all the time. Um, I'll take this uh, chain cover off too. Just get an idea what's going on inside of here. So it's, it's actually got the adjustment inside this cover, which, I mean, I have mixed feelings about because I guess if you have a problem, you could probably get a whole other cover pretty cheap, but it just seems like it wouldn't be as strong as a one inside, you know, like the steels have. Um, sprocket looks pretty good. It's just got a C-clip holding it on, your clutch and everything. Yeah, it 
looks like it's just got a standard band going around for the brake to around the clutch drum. You know, just standard stuff. Yeah, everything seems pretty nice though. I mean, for the price, can't really find a negative. So, all right, I'll put it in some wood, let you guys see how it performs, you know, so you guys can make the call. All right, guys, so I just started this up. It took like four or five pulls. Just the first time I've ever been running, so we started right off. Um, so we're going to do our test cut on this piece of walnut. It's a little guy. It's only maybe about a foot in diameter. So we'll see how it does. We're just doing a little bit of Couple cookies. What? Cut off a couple cookies like I did. I thought it was good as Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, did exactly what I thought and cut good. So, all right, guys, uh, feel free to like my videos and uh, sub. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.